this is tender leo tv landslides are catastrophic it occurs when the earth loses stamina and buries anything living on it so then provoking landslides through human activities like quarrying especially in a residential area like here is a threat to life in the event of a landslide these boulders will go rolling down destroying anything on their path natural disaster zoom in we also realize that because there are buildings around uh, the quarry buildings where people reside in and this quarry being on a hill area we, we most likely tremors from the machinery when they are excavating the, 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 the stones impacts on these buildings and uh, they are weakening their, their, they can weaken their structure and should rain scrum then we expect uh, dangers of landslides taking place uh, more so we also find that uh, the regions where they have excavated the stones and the marams are left open the water pans are likely to happen and should it rain we find that uh, there is a potential danger of this water to spill from the children may likely to drown them because children may likely go there and try to swim and the person trying to swim they can easily drown in it some of the stone that builds the town has been extracted from here mining of stone is an economic activity for the local men it has been difficult for them to balance the economic activity environmental conservation and most importantly the safety of the neighborhood and uh, this calls for <clears throat> the need for this quarry in case it's not happening an annual audit to be taking place if they have never done an EIA it needs to be done so that uh, these dangers can be mitigated and uh, the quarry can go on with its own activities without causing any potential impact on the environment and more so being even at say a densely populated area it's likely that uh, the impacts are there and maybe it may not be it may not be a going concern it's therefore important that this awareness is brought to the locals the proprietors of the quarry the county government so that uh, they can be able to mitigate against this potential threats before a disaster can happen within that particular area after the quarrying has, uh, has happened instead of leaving that uh, area to be in disuse it is possible to decommission, to decommission some parts of the area that has been uh, quarried and uh, restoration programs can start like tree planting uh, planting of grass and even the establishment of a, a park take an example of uh, baburi for example baburi when they were mining the the cement a big chunk of that land in baburi has been reclaimed and it is uh, they have a park there so the same thing can happen here so that once the quarrying has been done then the areas that remain that cannot be disused can be restored and can be of use uh, the, the, thereafter even after quarrying has taken place so that is a very good possibility and it requires the involvement of the people who, who, who stay there and the owners of the quarry. This is Tender Leo TV.